With iOS 6 came Apple Maps and with Windows 8 came full-blown Nokia Maps, formerly known as Obi Maps. So how do the newer kids on the block compare to Google service that has over eight years worth of data? We see how coverage, local search and public transport information compares. The amount of devices that you can get Google Maps and Nokia Maps on is much larger than Apple's. You can get both Google and Nokia's app on non-native devices, whereas Apple Maps is own brand only. This means Apple's ability to broaden its data input channels to make improvements is limited. So Google and Nokia can offer wider, more accurate mapping that's updated more frequently. There's been loads of problems with the accuracy of Apple Maps directions and Flyover 2. For example, the mapping of the Lionsgate Bridge in Vancouver, Canada and Pod and Smokeless London Eye. Google now is going further in not only displaying local information and search results, but learning about your preferences and tailoring information brought back to you too. For example, Google now learns where you live and finds transport information to get you home based on your current location. Nokia City Lens finds you nearby information and incorporates augmented reality. You can also save favourite searches and categories. A local search in Apple Maps brings back reviews and photos powered by Yelp and turn-by-turn -turn directions to get you there. Nokia Maps offers the best option in terms of augmented reality through the City Lens function. Point your hands at any street corner and you'll see information on nearby shops, restaurants and more. If you're finding directions, your route will show up on screen too. Google doesn't have this baked into its Maps app, but other Google products like Google Goggles will give you nearby information in augmented reality in an instant. Apple won't give you augmented reality information through Maps either, but local search is very good when using Siri. All of the apps have turn-by-turn -turn navigation capabilities and include voice navigation, turning your smartphone into a sat-nav. However, we must say that Apple's was the easiest to follow with Siri integration and it's all powered by TomTom. You don't get public transport information with Apple Maps, but Google and Nokia do include bus, tube, train and cycling details. In conclusion then, Google service is the most comprehensive because they have a lot more data at their disposal. The public transport information is excellent, as is the accuracy of directions, but we're looking forward to having AR included. Nokia's Maps gives you the most features and it's great to see augmented reality coming as standard. For Apple Maps, the 3D flyover is truly stunning, but this doesn't make up for all the problems we've encountered.